Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Lisa with Lisa Cape and Quilts, and currently I'm doing a series on putting together the t-shirt quilt you see behind me, sort of, on my design wall there. Uh, in the last video, we started sewing together a portion of this quilt. You can see it right there. It's up on the wall, sort of separated from everything else. If you missed that video, there's a link to the playlist down in the description box below. You can go check that out. So much like when we did that video, we started off in Inkscape, and uh, I think that's where we're going to start today as we approach another chunk of this quilt. And I think for me, it just helps explain the order in which I am sewing together the blocks, and you can see the seams really easily. If you use uh, a program like Inkscape, I have many videos showing how to design quilts in Inkscape, or if you use uh, grid paper, like the grid sets I offer in my Etsy shop or your own graph paper, right? It makes it really easy to see the seams and help determine what order you should sew together your blocks. So we're going to start in Inkscape before we start sewing today. So let me just share my screen. It's going to look kind of funny for a second as we pull up Inkscape. So here's Everly's quilt. And uh, you'll see the yellow patch. That's what we sewed together in the last video. And today, whoopsies, hold on one second. Today, I want to focus on the right side of the quilt. We're just going to zoom in just a little bit here. The white above it. This represents the very top edge of the quilt, right? And the white space below it, that's the right edge of the quilt. So uh, I think... In today's video, we're going to put together a patch that is going to start the beginning of one of the partial seams in this quilt. And many of you might be intimidated by partial seams, and so you might avoid quilts much like this. And I want to make it super simple and break it down for you. And uh, we're going to have a couple partial seams in this quilt, so I hope you follow along. So uh, I think in today's video, we're going to start right here with block 13, the photo of Everly and Vic. Right underneath of them is a, an adorable uh, little bird embroidery that I did with extra parts of her shirts. I'm going to link this embroidery file down in the description box in case you would like to check it out. I did purchase it on Etsy. And it was so much fun to create. So I'll put a link to that uh, Etsy listing down below. So we'll have this section here. And then, of course, block number 19 goes in the upper right-hand corner of the quilt. These blocks here will come together as one uh, section, right? And then we're going to set that aside. And we're going to come down to block 11. And then another block that I did was sublimation of Everly's artwork, which was pretty awesome. We will piece these together as a section and we'll put that aside. And then uh, I think we'll come over and we'll sew together blocks 29 with some hearts that I sublimated. We'll put those together. And then uh, I do believe, because if you look under 29 in the heart block, there's one seam from right over top of fern that runs to the edge of the quilt. Uh, so I do think we'll sew fern together with block number three. And uh, we'll put that together as a section. And then that will get sewn to the bottom of 29 in the heart blocks. And then uh, we will attach 11 and the sublimation right here in this seam. And this uh, right here, let me just see if I can draw you a heart, or excuse me, a circle, and just outline where our first partial seam is gonna be. Right in this section here. You'll see this block, block number 15, comes in right in this corner, right? So when we join, uh, this section, 11 in the sublimation to 29, we're going to leave the seam open right at the bottom of the sublimation a good couple of inches. And so we'll really focus on that in today's video. 
uh, because later on it's going to get attached to another section of quilt as we progress through uh, this quilt top. So uh, let me see if I can just highlight what all we are putting together today. Let's turn that, uh, we will turn that section red right there. Now, of course, uh, I didn't turn the filler blocks in red, but you'll see the shape of the patch that we're creating in today's video. I'm going to go warm up the iron and get the sewing machine ready, and we'll bring you through a progression of joining these blocks together. We're going to get started with our pieces, and we're going to start with Evan Vick's picture and the embroidery of the birds with the leftover t-shirt pieces. Isn't that adorable? Super cute. So the birds go underneath of the pictures first. We're going to sew that seam. Today's video, I'm going to do the sewing and the pressing uh, off camera. And we're just going to focus on putting these blocks together today. So I've pressed that seam. And now we're going to add block number 13 to the red section. And the red section is the completed picture and the birds sewn together. I'll throw some pins in that seam and go sew that and press it. And then we'll come back and you'll see that section is now red and we're going to add block number 19 to the right. This is the very top upper right portion of the quilt. So we'll pin that seam. Coming back after pressing, we have this completed section. Now we're going to go right below it for a minute. We're going to work on block number 11 and then the blue sublimation piece. We're going to join those two pieces together. And I'll go sew those and come right back. And then we're going to set those pieces aside and we're going to Sew together block 29 in the hearts unit. Coming back from pressing that, we're going to take a look at our first partial seam right below the unit that we just did. We have the picture of Fern and the t-shirt block right to the right of it. We're going to flip over Fern's picture onto the t-shirt and we're going to pin this in place. Now you'll see Fern's picture doesn't have the same size seam as the t-shirt, right? It falls a little short. So I'm going to put two pins right there and we're only going to be sewing down to the two pins and then we're going to stop. We're going to leave that seam open just like that. So here's our open seam. We're going to come in and lower our needle right below the two pins. Again, I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to take a couple of stitches and then I'm going to take a couple of back stitches to lock this seam in place. And then also all the way to the edge of these two units. That's our first partial seam. So let's bring this over and give this seam a press and I'll remove the two pins. When I press my partial seams, I try to make sure to only press the actual seam that was sewn itself and not all the way down to the end. I don't want to crease those unsewn sections. And there's our open seam. So let's move under there. We have fern and block number three is sewn together. The two blocks underneath of block three we're going to go ahead and piece those together and those go right underneath of block three. And then we bring in block seven at the very bottom, which I decided to add to this quilt video uh, because it was the same size seam underneath. So we will flip that unit over onto block three and pin that in place. 
and I'll sew that and press it and we'll come right back. And now we're going to work on this section here, which I discovered is another partial seam. So we're actually doing two partial seams in today's video. If you look at the grid on the left, you'll see the blue section and then the brown section to the right. We are actually doing that seam that runs between the blue section and the brown section. I'll pin that. And there is our partial seam, our second one of the day. So again, here is the open section we're going to leave open and I'm going to lower my needle right below the two pins. And so completely to the edge, making sure to do a little back stitch to lock this in place. So the reason this is a partial seam is because the blue section that we're adding is not exactly the same size as the piece that we are sewing it to. We'll just sew right off the edge. Then we'll bring this over to the pressing board. And again, we're only pressing the section that the seam is sewn. Here's our open seam right there. That will be open so that we can join it to other sections of the quilt as we move along. Now at this point, we have three sections of the quilt. And I realize I did them out of order a little bit and I hope it's not confusing, but right here, Fern's picture in block three, we need to add to the bottom of block 29. I realized I colored in the grid before I actually joined these pieces. So that's the seam we're gonna join together now is that seam there. So I hope I haven't made it too confusing, sewing a few pieces out of order. I hope that I've been able to indicate on the grid which seams I was sewing at which time. <laughs> so there's our second partial seam right where Fern is. Here's our first one. So at this point we have two sections of the quilt and let me pull up on the screen where we are, because I'm back on track, we have the red section at the top and the blue section below it. It's all outlined in green. I'm going to line up those sections and just pin baste those right straight across. Now, usually I'm a huge glue baster, but my Juki uh, HZLF600, uh, I'm able to adjust the pressure of my presser foot, which makes it really nice. And so um, adjusting that, I don't have to glue baste my pieces. We will just pin those straight across and I'll go sew that seam and give that a press. And as we come back, this is all one section. I think those birds look super adorable in there. So let me show you the top green star next to block 29. That's our first partial seam of the quilt. And then the bottom green star you see on the screen next to block three and right where Fern is, that is our second partial seam of this quilt. And now on the screen is the yellow section and the red section. Those are completed sections and everything teal still needs to be sewn together. So let me just show you my design board. It's a little bit chaotic, but those are my quilt pieces. And this is where we are with this quilt. Join me next time to sew some more blocks together. We'll see you really soon.